nice, but I think we can do. After 15 minutes of stress testing the GPU, as you can see, the usage is at 100%. It has peaked at 69, 70, 70 now degrees. It's not bad at all, considering the small form factor of the case, but I think we can get a couple of degrees by changing the thermal paste. So let's do just that. There we have it. We're not gonna clean it because it's already super damn clean. We're just going to remove all the screws right here and then repaste the GPU. So let's start by removing the screws for the back plate and let's keep track of them. We first need to remove the shroud. Let's do it in a next shape. Let's re remove the bracket. We also need to unplug the fans. So let's do it one here and a couple connectors down here. Make sure to take the connector itself and not the other because otherwise you're going to break freaking everything first one is free as you can see the thermal paste is basically dried out so great thing we have removed it i'm also going to remove the back panel just to show you guys how to do it if you were to like change it with a custom one so let's do just that and then we're going to repaste the GPU. You can also see a little bit of dust inside it because of course the seller uh, did clean it but not internally just outside I imagine with some compressed air. As you can see from this side I've removed all the screws we can now lift the GPU and separate it from the back panel. Let's go right here and let's push it up And there you have it, the thermal pads right here, let me replace them properly. They're pretty clean to be honest, uh, I'm gonna give it a good wipe with some isopropyl alcohol, but overall it's quite clean. We are now ready to reapply the thermal paste, we just need to put a little bit of it on the center and we can now reclose everything, so let's do just that. We only need to close the GPU as it was so let's align these hole the stock the cooler to the GPU everything's aligned so let's screw it down down in place just like this and now the bracket for the GPU itself once again in a next shape, so a little bit on each side, a little bit here, another little bit right here, right here, and the last one. And then let's screw them down. Last thing we need to do is reconnect the cables. And boom, we're done. Let's plug it back in the computer and see the results. And we have dropped one degree. <laughs> I know it's not impressive, but it, it's because the thermal paste wasn't actually that bad. But if your GPU has like three or four years, I totally recommend doing this because you're going to drop even five degrees for basically free.